Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Crosscut Turning. Uh, today we've got a chunk of, I don't know what, probably oak would be my guess, but I'm, I'm not sure, uh, just because, you know, it usually is oak when it's around my area. So, um, it's something I just cut up uh, out of a log a few days ago. So, we got some cracking going on there. Uh, that's okay with me. You know me, I kind of like to crack. So, um, it's still really wet. And that's what we're going to be turning today. I, I was, I do have a couple pieces I am going to try to get a, a natural or a live edge bowl out of. This is not one of them. I'm going to do a just a, a regular, regular edge bowl because I, I want to. Um, just work on the bowl gouge more than anything. So um, this one's just gonna be be regular, and I don't know how this is gonna turn yet. I'm gonna see how hard the bark is and everything. Let me know if I can do a, a live edge bowl with the other one. So um, again, I don't know what kind of wood this is. I'm, I think I'm gonna change the name of the channel from crosscut turning to to unknowing turning because I never know what kind of wood it is. But uh, this log was uh, brought down from my, my father-in-law. Uh, so thank you, Donald, for supplying the wood. And uh, we're gonna get to turning. So I'm gonna get a, we're gonna do a face plate on the front here and I'm gonna get it hooked up to the lathe and we're gonna get started on it. So I will uh, let you know as, well, we'll be back as soon as we're hey guys, also soon before we get started, I just wanna say okay. thank you for the support. And if you could go ahead, if you haven't already, go down and hit that sub button, uh, ring that bell so you know when I got a new video coming out. Also, comment and like, you know, let me know if you like this project that we're about to do. Let me know if you hate it. Let me know what you think. Uh, last thing I would say is if you could please share out the video, help it get to as many people as we can as we're trying to grow the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, any support, just watching the video is greatly appreciated, but also um, subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing. A special thank you to you people that do that every time. I know there's a few of you out there that do, and I really appreciate it. So. Let's get to this project and see how it turned out. Got a freshly sharpened bowl gouge. And we're going to start spinning this. It might be a little bit wobbly at the beginning. If it is, I apologize. But uh, we'll get through it. So we're going to start shaping the outside as soon as I get this uh, evened out. It, if it is wobbly, it should stop. So just bear with me. is just freaking phenomenal. It's what every, I think every wood turner aspires to, is to get shavings like this. And it's a lot easier because it is wet wood, but man, it's just, it's beautiful. You don't get that with carbide. This is the reason I wanted to go to traditional tools so you can get stuff like this. Um, it's freaking fantastic. And it's outside the bark, it's all coming off like that. Wet wood is such greatness to turn. I just, I love it. So we got a little bit more to go uh, to get this down and around. And I, th I think like this, this garbage area right here is just because it was so close to where the bark was. I'm hoping that's what it is. So we shall see. All right, I'm gonna get back to this. I'm gonna move my tool rest up a little bit and get back to turning.
All right, guys, so I've got the outside pretty much to the profile I want to do it at. I uh, got the mortise cut in there, ready to go. Um, it's, it's turned really well. I'm hoping it stands as well, too. So it's got a really cool, cool grain. I made a, a vase in a, a previous video that kind of had this uh, type of grain. I, I really should figure out what kind of wood this is because I think it's really pretty. Um, but again, this was given to me, so. Um, I did want to answer uh, a question I've been asked a couple of times um, what bowl gouge and stuff I've been using what I've got so I've got a, uh, a kit that I bought off Amazon when I first got the lathe I think it's like I don't even know what uh, hang on, it's right here. Benjamin's best it came with like eight different uh, tools so I think it was like when I bought it, it was like 70 or 80 bucks off Amazon I mean it's all right for starting out I guess the bowl gouge I wasn't happy with at all. Uh, when I first started doing this, I took it to uh, cousin's house that turned, and he, he sharpened the bowl gouge. And by the time I got to sharpen the bowl gouge, there's just there was not enough tool steel left to, to actually sharpen it. So um, once I got my sharpening system and everything, I've got a half horse Rikon low speed grinder that I bought with the Wolverine one way system, and I bought the Wolverine Dury Grind. This comes, uh, I got it as a package deal from, from Woodcraft. So the only other thing I got with it, or I didn't get with it, but I bought in addition to it, and I got this off Amazon too. Uh, it's Bob's Brown's Best. Hang on, I don't remember. It's called Ron Brown's Best. It's a, it's a setup tool. So y'all can see here, I'm trying to take some of the light out. I need to see it, but it looks really bad on the camera. So that's the green I was talking about. All right, so I'm gonna get standing, uh, 83, 400 like I always do, and then I'm only gonna show y'all a bit of that, finish the outside, and I'll bring y'all back when it's uh, flipped over after I show a little bit of the sanding. So we're gonna get to that, and I'm gonna stop uh, babbling on, and probably get it half this out, so let's get it.
right, so I'm happy with where this bowl is right now. We're about to sand it up. Uh, again, I'll show you the 80 grit, and then I'll get it sanded up through 400 and come back when it's time to finish it. Um, one thing I did want to show you, though, and this is just, it's the first time I've gotten to do it on an interior bowl. I'm just I'm super excited about my progress, so bear with me while I giggle a little bit. But you know, Look at all those shavings. It's all from the inside of the bowl. Look at you. That's beauty right there, freaking beauty. And it's all cuts. It's all cuts. It's not It's not shredded or anything like that. It's not dust, it's it's shavings. It's freaking, freaking greatness. So uh, really, really happy about this. All right, so we got it all sanded up to 400. Uh, we are going to do the finishing now. Same as always, we're going to start out with, uh, well, not same as always, but we're going to start out with the sanding sealer, the Mylan cellulose, two coats of that, uh, axe abrasive paste, wipe it off with denatured alcohol, then put the polish on. So, and then we're going to be finished. Well, let's get to it. guys we got her all finished up looking looking good looking shiny so it ended up being about five and three quarters this way and about uh, one and three quarters deep this way I guess not deep because it's a little tall tall uh, if I had to guess I didn't measure it but I'd say one one and a quarter one and a half deep inside but that grain is just phenomenal I think it's just beautiful it's the same wood as I did the uh, the vase out of a little while ago. It was one of my first videos. I'll put a link uh, for that up one of these corners. I don't know which one I think it's this one. I'll try to put a link up there, and I'll link it down in the description too. But it's just absolutely freaking phenomenal. And I don't know. It kind of looks like a bark inclusion or something. I don't know what that was, but it's not rough. It's completely smooth. There's some on the outside too. I don't know if that goes through to that or, or what, but it's freaking phenomenal very very happy this is probably and it might be because it was wet wood but i'm okay with that <laughs> there is was absolutely no tear out on this thing at all um i've got a i've got a little bit of a it's not tear out it's just where the the mortise was i i could go in and, and and turn this away but i don't I'm not very happy with using the jam chuck and uh, my coal gels are out of commission for the moment. So um, that's gonna stay in there, but that's not tear out. So I'm very happy. It's, it's thing is super smooth. Finish turned out really nice on it. So Axe Base always does, right? I don't have any, anything else to say about it. Um, really appreciate all the support we've gotten. Like I said earlier in the video, I think we were at like 88, 89 subscribers this morning before I started recording. Um, so it might be past that by now, I'm not sure. Um, but everybody that's subscribed, thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please go down, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification when I got a new video coming out, it'll, it'll notify you. Um, completely free way to, to support the channel if you, if you like what you're seeing. Uh, I'll remind you to come back and see what we got coming up. You know. In the next few weeks um, I'm gonna try a couple different things the next few weeks that I haven't tried I really I got this cut up and I wanted to turn it and uh, I'm really glad I did so 
Um, like, comment, share the video out if you could, all your social medias, that, that would be greatly appreciated too. Thank you for all that. Um, those of y'all that do it every time, I, I really appreciate it. I know there's, there's a couple of you that, that share it, comment, likes every, every time. Um, you've already got the bell notification, so special thank you to y'all. Um, I don't really have anything else. The uh, Etsy store is down in the description uh, if y'all want to go check out that. Uh, the link's down there. People keep telling me I forget to mention it. Uh, some friends and stuff that watch the video. And I do, so go check it out. If you want to check it out, it's down in the description as well. Um, I don't really have anything else. So, appreciate you guys. We'll uh, catch you next week. Thank you.